नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल एंड आई हैव एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फॉर यू टुडे व्हेन अ लीडर व्हेन एन ऑपोजिशन लीडर गोस टू अनदर कंट्री एंड क्रिटिसाइजेस द गवर्नमेंट इज इट रॉन्ग इज ही एंटी नेशनल इज ही गोइंग अगेंस्ट हिज कंट्री लेट्स डिस्कस दैट लेट्स गेट राइट इनटू द शो नाउ imagine imagine if donald trump would come to india if he would come to india and have a conference or or whatever have a have a session or have a have a press conference or whatever what are we expecting him to say what do you think donald trump will say in his speech will he say that are biden my god biden is a gem of a guy Biden is one of the finest presidents that ever happened in the United States of America. Biden is better than I am. You know Biden too cool. Is that what one is expecting him to say or do you think he will criticize the United States government? I think most most probably he will be criticizing united states government and the way their policies the way it is functioning he will criticize it that is what is expected out of him why would he criticize the united states government he would criticize the united states government because he is an opposition leader he is an opposition leader that is why he will criticize united states government he has dreams of standing against uh, biden or whoever for next uh, election next uh, american elections he will criticize isn't that natural but does that make donald trump anti national does that make donald trump anti national number 1 number 2 you see imran khan is sitting in pakistan and he had few good things to say about narendra modi he had few good things to say about our external affairs minister he was sitting there and speaking good things about external affairs minister and narendra modi sitting there whatever he spoke we could hear it clearly clearly everybody in india knows whatever he said there now does that make him anti pakistan does that make him an anti national of that particular country just because he praised narendra modi versus his own prime minister shahbaz sharif does it make him anti national people say no 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 are anti national sedition throw him out is it is it so two points i made one is when an opposition leader goes that is opposition leader of a democratic country not a dictatorship country not a monarchy a democratic country when an opposition leader of a democratic country goes to another country more often than not he criticizes the governance of the country he criticizes the government of the country he may criticize policies of the country he will not criticize the country he is not going against the country he is going against a government policy so he or she criticizes the policies of the country that is the point one i make that is natural everybody everybody does it the second point i make is what not only me but even arun jetli had said it in in his interview to ani the second point i made for giving uh, imran khan's example is that we are in a internet generation our our whatever we say what i say in the studio in the small studio in andheri i get mails from chicago at times and and so on so forth not only me anybody you sit you sit in front of your facebook and you speak chances are it may be carried all over the world there is no boundary there is no geographical boundary to what you say so whatever is happening in our parliament is also seen across the globe whatever is happening in our country is also seen across the globe so what is there that you know you are saying something you are disregarding the country you are insulting the country you are humiliating the country what logic is this arun jetli to ani had made a statement he said this was made when congress guys had criticized narendra modi going out and uh, and speaking against the government's policy those government congress government upf policy okay so he had spoken 
ही सेड आज सैटेलाइट का युग है इंटरनेट का युग है सदन में चर्चा होती है तो दुनिया में लोग सुनते हैं उसको देखते हैं और इसलिए यह कहना कि चर्चा को वो केवल भारत की सीमा तक सीमित रख कर दो ये तो आज के युग में संभव ही नहीं है केवल पीएम नहीं कोई भी हिंदुस्तान से जाता है और डायस्पोरा की मीटिंग होती है तो भारत में क्या होता है ये चर्चा की स्वाभाविक विषय बनता है आज कोई ऐसा चर्चा नहीं है जिसको केवल इस देश की सीमाओं तक सीमित रख देना ये संभव नहीं है और ना टेक्नोलॉजी उसकी अनुमति देती है वेरी इंटेलिजेंट पॉइंट ही मेड अरे दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी हैव ऑलवेज बीन सीइंग लिसन यू स्पीक एंड एवरीबॉडी हियर्स सो देयर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ कोई कैम्ब्रिज में बोला या कांदीवली में बोला इट इज द सेम थिंग फॉर द वर्ल्ड you 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 say say it in in also the 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 whole 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 world 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 will 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 hear 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 go go to 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 Cambridge you say the whole world will hear. You say to go to spots or geographical boundaries doesn't matter now why am I saying all this is because the union minister Mr Anurag Thakur made a statement saying that saying that uh, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is not just insulting PM Modi but he is also insulting India World leaders are praising PM Modi and his leadership, but Rahul Gandhi cannot digest it. His reaction came after Gandhi's speech in US during his visit. That is yesterday. So, what is Anurag Thakur expecting? Rahul Gandhi to go to United States or Cambridge or wherever and say Modi, Modi, Modi. Should is 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 that what is expected out of him? Is that what he thinks Rahul Gandhi is going to say? Or when Rahul Gandhi goes and addresses the diaspora, is that what Bharatiya Janata Party is going to say? I ask the same question tomorrow. Rahul Gandhi becomes the Prime Minister. Will Anurag Thakur go to the American diaspora and say Rahul, Rahul, Rahul? Will he say that? If he will not say that, how is he expecting Rahul to say that? Now in his mind, he may say that Narendra Modi. You know, everybody is praising Narendra Modi and all that. He may say that, and maybe it's true too. But is that what he is expecting Rahul Gandhi to do? Therefore. Because Biden praised him, so Rahul Gandhi should praise him. And if you are getting praises, you will get praises. Just because Rahul Gandhi says your praises will stop, or just because Rahul Gandhi says the whole world will say, "Oh, I say, I can't say, I thought India was good, Baba." Rahul Gandhi is saying it is bad, so it is bad. Is that going to happen? I mean, let us be very clear: Is Rahul Gandhi that influential? If you are agreeing to the fact that Rahul Gandhi is that influential, then we will agree to the fact that he goes out to other countries and when he says something bad about India, it is affecting India. Then I mean, we will agree to that. At one end you saying I require Rahul Gandhi को नहीं पूछता. At another end you saying that he is going there and he is talking and he is making a lot of difference. Now you one has to make up our mind. ठीक है ना? That has to happen. One has to make up our mind. That's number one. Number two, if let me tell you from a professional point of view, let's understand this concept of image. See, image is not universal. Image is not universal. For instance, I'll try and explain to you. When a company when a businessman does trade makes profit that works to his advantage his image in the community goes up because he is doing a profitable business he is a he is a he is a businessman who generates profit his image goes up now the same thing if a ngo if a if a if a organization involved in social activity if that organization goes and does some work and makes a lot of profit that organization's image comes down because an ngo is not supposed to make money a businessman is so image is different you see likewise when a government representative goes to another country and stands in front of the cam camera and uh, the mic more than himself or herself he should be talking about his achievements his government's achievement and uh, you know how his government has achieved a lot of things how the country is achieving and how the country is going that is what his job is that's where he creates the image when an opposition goes to another country that opposition's leader's job is to of course not criticize his country but definitely talk about the flaws of the government's policy that is what he is supposed to do he will do that he or she will do that that doesn't harm the image of the country in fact on the contrary it increases the image of the country because it shows it shows the the vibrant democracy that country is 
नॉर्थ कोरिया का पर्सन विल नॉट बी एबल टू कम हियर एंड एंड से बैड थिंग्स अबाउट नॉर्थ कोरिया एंड गो देर एंड रिमेन अ लाइफ नहीं होगा इन अ डिक्टेटरशिप कंट्री एनी वेयर इन द कंट्री यू कैन से बैड थिंग्स अबाउट द डिक्टेटर एंड 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 सर्वाइव गो बैक देर एंड सर्वाइव और इन अ मोनार्कियल प्लेस यू कैन से बैड थिंग्स अबाउट द मोनार्क एंड सर्वाइव बट इन अ रिपब्लिक इन अ डेमोक्रेसी इट इट वी कैन एंड दैट्स प्रिसाइसली वॉट अ ऑपोजिशन डज so somewhere down the line when an opposition goes out and talks about the flaws in the policies of the government that's what is expected when the government goes when the government talks about the good things about the government that's what's expected there are occasions where the opposition and the government has to be united especially when you are combating international pressures or when you are combating a land issue or when you are combating a, a, a that nobody goes that nobody speaks against that i didn't think i don't think rahul gandhi spoke anything that was uh, you know favoring china or favoring pakistan or something he has said nothing of that my third point my third point and this is very serious you know <clears throat> how many countries play world cup in cricket 20 countries play world cup i think 12 countries not even 20 sorry 12 countries play world cup in cricket you know how many countries play wrestling close to 185 affiliated nations to united world wrestling federation 185 countries are affiliated you know this uh, wrestlers out there who are who have been manhandled and you know all that that's happening in jantar mantar because they want somebody who they alleged is their perpetrator somebody who they alleged sexually harassed them they want that person to be brought to justice that is why those girls are sitting out there you know wrestling they have following in close to 185 countries they are medal winners they are not small play they are not small uh, normal people like me they are medal winners they have got huge following in 185 countries You know, Shakshi Malik has got a following in Twitter of close to six lakh people. Vinesh Pogat has a following of Twitter in of close to three lakh sixty one thousand odd people. These are the kind of following they have in Twitter, Instagram, alag, Facebook, alag. That's the kind of following they have all over the world. These are the girls who are sitting there now. You tell me what has happened to them on Sunday? What is what they are going through today? The way they are fighting to to get justice. Isn't that spoiling India's name? In 184 countries, you are talking about one America. In 184 countries, including America, including America, which is more serious? What is spoiling our name more? Who is spoiling our name more? Who is spoiling our image more? Think about it. This is right and this is logical. Think about it. Because everything that is happening with those girls. with in in that jantar mantar is being broadcasted across the globe across the world their followers across this 184 countries are sharing it speaking about it communicating about it spreading whatever images they are getting from india all that we need to do as indian government is to go talk to our own kids and say theek hai don't worry we are there to take care of you if somebody has troubled you we will ensure that person is troubled back this is what they are expecting from their prime minister and from this nation and from you and me this is what those girls are expecting this is what you call beti padhao and beti bachao this is how you bachao your beti let them feel secure in the country that's what our job is and then you talk about image it makes sense Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at ten. Namaskar.